Hello YouTubers, followers of uh, Viking Rogaland and those who are interested in the Philippines, welcome to this broadcast. The first one in this new year. Today is the 6th of January 2022. Oh, amazing, huh? <laughs> and we are still around. By the way, I am the sponsor of coca-cola they're not sponsoring me i am sponsoring them because i always drink their the product ah now uh, i was in don marcelino during the new year and uh, we had to take the jab to be able to travel there so me and my partner Jailene and all the other ones traveling there they have the jab the vaccine so at least as of now we have some freedom with that vaccine let's see how long it lasts you know um, and then we went there with the tricycle uh, my Carabao the tricycle Yamaha YTX125 with the umbrella version of, of tricycle and it works very fine so when we came there in the village there was a lot of people gathered because they are coming home for Christmas and to see the family so so many of them they are working in other places like uh, obviously Davao city and also here in Digos which I am now where I am now and in Cut about the all over the place, and but they want to come home for Christmas for the family and maybe make another baby <laughs> with their partner. Uh, so it was very nice to meet the guys. We have a small house there, um, the doll house, and so we we enjoyed staying there. And my wife and my son David, they remained there. Uh, I will go back in a couple of days. So on the 1st of January, uh, well, on New, Year, New Year's Eve, first of all, that was very big surprise and enjoyment for my little son David, who is soon four, when he saw and heard the bangs and the booms, and he saw the lights from the fireworks in the village. And there was a brownout or blackout, no electricity, so it was really dark, so you could enjoy the fireworks. So that's it, everybody there, they, they come together very happy. On the 1st of January, we went down to the, to the beach, uh, and uh, the family who is basically ruling in the Lapuan area, and they own a big Hacienda from built by the Americans uh, probably a hundred years ago or more. It has been restored and there are some cold springs there, just close to the beach, very close to the beach. They are they have a beach front property and they have uh, made some nice resort there now uh, with uh, the hot springs. So many people came there. So they put up tables and uh, roof, some small huts there uh, around the the spring and so you pay some money to get in there and it was packed uh, actually they had to turn away many people so uh, we had a good time there I made a little video about that but I didn't bring my camera with me here so that I cannot show you the video right now but later on uh, so it was so great to be back there in the province um, there has been so many lockdowns we couldn't go there because we didn't have the jab we didn't have certificate we didn't have blah 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 so mm, who knows when this madness is gonna end the reason I came back here uh, I came back here uh, because of Teeth. They are getting rotten, so I have uh, three teeth that must be pulled out. Now the problem here is that the, the dentists here they are very obsessed if you have high blood pressure. High blood pressure. Uh, I cannot remember when I pulled my teeth in Thailand. I pulled a couple of teeth there. 
can't remember that um, they were so obsessed about the blood pressure. My blood pressure is, has for many years been very fluctuating. So if I'm getting stressed, it gets very high. <laughs> but if I'm relaxed, it is quite normal. So uh, I was there at the, this dentist um, maybe three weeks ago. And she refused to, to pull my tooth or my teeth because of my hot, high blood pressure. So I went to the doctor just in the nearby in, and he said, oh, your blood pressure is quite good. I said, yeah, but when I came to the dentist, I had to, uh, I had to put on all kind of stuff, you know, like something to cover my head, some blue plastic and something to cover my torso and then something to cover my feet and blah 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 by the time I was sitting in that chair my heart was pumping I'm a big man and if I'm gonna do exercise well I don't do too much exercise to say that so my blood pressure is going up anyway he said okay I'll give you some mild medication so you take this once a day and try to go back so yesterday I went back to the dentist uh, and I had also um, an x-ray from the hospital x-ray for my teeth so she measured my blood pressure again and oh look and behold it was still too high I said yeah I was stressed because I was late also <laughs> so I was sweaty and all the kind of stuff when I arrived uh, to the dentist so I said okay and she said oh it's just just wait there for 10 minutes so then okay it was a bit lower and then again later when she was about to start pulling my tooth I said just check my blood pressure again you see it's more down now and yeah it was look and behold it was more down and that's it so anyway um, this dentist she is staying close to the G mall along the highway there uh, I don't remember her name now, but uh, of course it's a Spanish sounding name. She has a clinic there, it's very, very modern. Everything is very modern. So they even have a TV, you can watch a movie while you're sitting there in, in the tooth, uh, I mean in the dentist chair or laying down there. You can watch some movie there. They have a, a cable TV straight in your face, quite amazing. <laughs> So this one, she's very professional. I think she's like uh, 45 years old, uh, but they look like aliens. They, you know, everything and face shield and uh, the space suits to avoid the, the dangerous who killed almost two thirds of the world. Uh, uh, sorry, 0.0% um, of those who got sick, something like that. Anyway, that is, of course, good reason to be careful huh? even it's much more dangerous to cross the road especially here in the Philippines uh, so she put some uh, first she put something like a gel so I said, oh you, that's, I can feel the anesthetics you see the problem here and I want to explain is that there on the on the x-ray they say yeah you have one tooth there and one tooth there that needs to be pulled or they are defective I only had problem a little bit with this one, but I said this one behind here, very well. The, I don't know what you call that one in, in English, but in Norway we call it wisdom tan, wisdom tooth. So I said that one. If I when I clean my my, my teeth with the picks, and sometimes the pick will go into that tooth, so there's a big hole there, and then it's a bit painful if my tooth pick covers that interior so I prefer you you pull that one because as we she said we're only gonna pull one tooth today so okay she checked it out and yeah she said yeah that is quite rotten to the core so we're gonna pull that one but if you know something about teeth and about Norwegian wisdom teeth they, they have very strong jaws and very strong teeth so it really took a long time but of course also i was resting to to get my blood pressure down so i came there at 12 30 and we were done at 
130, 2.30, so after two hours we were done. She really had to struggle with that tooth and she always, oh, oh, that tooth is so big. She had to, to, to basically drill it apart. It was not possible to pull it in one. So just for your information, if you, if you don't like blood and disgusting teeth, don't look now because I'm going to show you the two roots. Okay. <laughs> look here. This is one of the roots. And she said this is, look, very, it's very bent. In, 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 yeah. So anyway, I was wondering maybe I'm going to put them here in the, at least this one. Put them around my neck for a <laughs> minute. Here is the other one, a very crooked, very crooked one. Huh? So, so she basically had to destroy the whole crown, and then finally she came. I said, "She's not gonna put me. Ha ha she don't have some kind of uh, uh, what do you call that? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. And yeah, she got it. She called. It, I think she called it four, four. She asked her assistant get the four. four. Oh, wow, it was a bad ply, a very big nasty ply. <laughs> So you're saying laying there, but you know the the it was no pain. The very good the, with everything there. The, the anesthesia and even lay, and then she had to cut up the cut up and operate. She called it surgery. So she had to operate on my gum. And after she get all that stuff out, she sewed it. Uh, the needle looked like a fish hook, a small fish hook, and you can imagine in the back of my mouth it's very difficult job. And she was, you can feel she's pushing, forcing that through the through the gum uh -huh. again and again. Wow, amazing job, uh, dentist down. So then when I was done, she gave me some medicine and then, but her handwriting is more terrible than mine. So I didn't understand anything. She, I got the prescription. I couldn't read what was there. So when I came home, I found out I had no painkiller. <laughs> she said, told me to take the painkiller. But so then finally, uh, Leslie, the sister of my wife, she came here and she said, oh, that is the prescription for the painkiller. Oh, really? So I have I have antibacterial. I got them. And then let's see go. But I didn't have much pain, really. I was so lucky. I was so blessed. Uh, no swelling. No, just a very minor pain, like a general headache. So anyway, uh, when I was leaving there, I got the bill. And I was a bit surprised. It was 7,000 pesos. But I guess... That is the price you have to pay when you're in the city. If I had been in the, I'm in the modern clinic. If I had gone to one of these uh, local, like the one my wife uses, it's much, much cheaper. Maybe I would pay 2,000 pesos. But um, I decided I'm gonna do this job properly because that's my, my mouth, my teeth. And in Norway, it would be much more expensive. I'm not sure because I have not been to the dentist in Norway for <laughs> 16 years, something like that, 17 years. But I guess that it would cost probably 500 US dollars. That would be 25,000 pesos. So it's, I mean, if you want to go to a backyard, very simple dentist, you can get the job done. I could do that with some of these more easy to, to get teeth, but um, the wisdom tooth, I uh, shut up rooster. I'm talking here now, not you, huh? <laughs> He's fighting with the neighbor rooster who is. <coughs> so anyway, uh, if you want to go to the Philippines, be sure to check up your teeth and to have some dentistry done. If you come from, from a country where it's costly, uh, there are so many, good dentists around in this country. Before I went to Lapu Lapu in Makten Island, a very good dentist there also. Uh, so really, and then I went to a dentist in, in Argyle, Argyle, southwest coast of Cebu. She was very clever, but she put amalgam in my teeth. 
Amalia, that is like a quicksilver, uh, you know, uh, quite, quite dangerous and poisonous, I think. So I got that one removed later. Many, many clever doctors, many clever dentists uh, in this country. Uh, so uh, just be ready to go and have a full checkup. This, this lady, she told me she had an old Norwegian guy coming before who had uh, all his teeth uh, done at her clinic. So very clever, very clever. I shut up, Mr. Mr. Rooster. Oh, why you want to talk and quarrel with that neighbor, huh? So that it remains a couple of teeth more to be pulled. <laughs> and that's that's a part of life, I guess. Uh, especially if I, you never go to the dentist until you really have to. Uh, like when I was 22, I was in the military. I had my my dentist job done while, while at the start of the service. So I was 22. Now, the next time I went to the dentist, I was uh, like... Um, 33 <laughs> so it was 11 years with no then I had to put a wisdom tooth here in the back here uh, that was also quite big job big Norwegian male dentist did that one so basic I'm trying to avoid dentists I'm not afraid of them but you know it's just hmm, what the heck <laughs> I'm not eating much sugar uh, I'm not eating much rice, so there is not too much to live for, or, except for all the beer that I'm drinking. That's what the, is maybe f feeding all the decay of my teeth. So anyway, thank you for your attention. And uh, I, I just want to say before I, I hope, uh, close out, up here that the people now are very free here, very free. And they are gathering very big numbers. There is no social distancing. Uh, just before Christmas, you know, the shops, especially the malls, they were packed with people, with kids. It was so lovely. And down in the province, in our village there, nobody wear a mask. Nobody wear a mask. Okay, so freedom, hopefully, is coming just around the corner. Happy New Year.